welcome back to Ladybug Lane Soaps. This is Margie, your hostess for the mostest, and I am wearing my safety uh, goggles, and here's my gloves. So welcome everybody, and thank you so much for joining me today. Alrighty, I have got to show everybody what I bought myself for Christmas. I am so excited. I'm going to move something around here. So I have been wanting one of these for the longest, longest time. Look at this gang. This is the 12 pound, hope it's, hope you can see this. So this is the 12 pound mold from Nurture Soap. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Let me see if I can scoop this over here. I got a full table today. So these ends, pop up like this isn't that neat and then you just remove the liner and so I am just tickle 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 about using this and then in addition I bought a a, a slab cutter so I am all set so game today I'm going to be um, making um, a three-layered project and the fragrance oil is called seagrass and sand dunes but if you smell it and uh, or you know read the description uh, from rustic essentials it it says um, that it has rose notes and I don't know where they came up with the name of the seagrass and sand dunes because it has rose notes in it so I don't even mention nothing about the you know ocean vibe or whatever because it is just 100% of a rose fragrance so uh, so what I'm gonna do is on the bottom or maybe yeah so on the bottom where to go where to go I'm gonna be using the um, pink vibrance from nurture soap and then in the middle this was these are unscented i had a bunch of just leftover soaps the pink and the yellow and so i just cut them up and so that's going to be in the middle and then for the top i'm going to have the yellow vibrance and maybe if i remember i'll do some sort of a of a swirly on top. So I think that is it. So, all right, gang, let's get having some fun. Yeah, so this is the most soap I have ever made in one batch, which is going to be about, like I say, 12 pounds, because it's 12 pound mold. And this is a lot of oils and butters. be interesting. Oh, come on. Oh, that's right. I was going to... Ah, I'm making a mess. I was going to... Uh, temp the oils here. So we're at about 95-ish. Get over there. See, I'm making messes already. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I don't think there has been one video that I haven't made a mess. Okay, so this is going to be the tricky part. And I know that looks like a lot of lie because this is actually twice the amount of oils and twice the amount of lye that I usually use. So I think what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm just going to hand stir this puppy in. That's 
getting up there. Whoa. Phew. Okay, that was scary. All right. Sweat beads are forming on my forehead. Woohoo. All right. And I'm trying to remember, gang, if this fragrance oil accelerates on me. So I'm going to be splitting it off into three containers and then adding the micas to the oils. But then I won't I won't add the fragrance oil until I'm ready to uh, you know do the layers. Let's call that good for the moment. Okay, I feel like I'm just a slime ball right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that looks good. So, according to my handwritten little notes, I need to separate, uh, have 58 ounces. Okay. Scoot the boot, Margie, scoot the boot. hasn't overflowed yet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, good thing I didn't use any more liquid, huh? That would have been a disaster. Okay. Okay, spoon, spoon, spoon. Let's see what we can do here. 
get it around the corners. Okay, yep, this is going to make a lot of soap. But you know, lately I, I found that I have a neighbor who volunteers at a local food bank for senior citizens, which I think is so wonderful. So I have been bringing her some bars of soap and like when my husband and I have our Friday night or Saturday night, you know, grocery store uh, date night, I guess we call it, you know, we'll try to find some products that are quick and convenient for the seniors to to cook. You know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, just something that is... Um, Quick and easy to cook, and um, yeah. So she was telling me that you know sometimes these seniors they have to choose between you know food and medicine, and it's just so sad, so sad. Yeah. Well, you know what? I hadn't intended on making a springtime soap, but. I think this kind of, you know, it might do just fine. So, alrighty gang, well, there she is. So I guess, uh, how many, yeah, so it was 182.24 ounces total with the, with the lye solution and the oils and the butter and the fragrance oil. So, alrighty gang, I'm going to leave it there, and so I guess next time I see you, it will be at the cut. Welcome back everybody to the cutting of the seagrass and sand dunes, and as promised, I mentioned that I would show uh, how I'm going to be using my brand new Christmas present to myself the uh, uh, log splitter and this is from the Plowboys wood shop and um, yeah so he he and Bud are our friends uh, Bud Bud Hafner and of course I've been using let me scoot things over here open oh, this yeah so I've been using Bud's single cutter Am I zoomed in too much? Okay, yeah. So I bought this. Oh, probably just a few months. A few months after I began soaping, uh, three plus years ago, and this is just such a wonderful, wonderful tool. I um, yeah, I have really enjoyed it, and so I thought, you know what? I bought this one from Bud, and I thought that I would just give a little bit of the business to the other fella I don't know his name but anyway so I have this these little measurements here uh, it should be at about three inches which is what my other bars are here and so and I have it nice and nice and tight here so, alrighty, and I am going to put some of this wax paper down so the loaf can kind of slide pretty easily. Oh my gosh! So, yeah, so let me show you. This, I mean, 12 pounds of soap is heavy, folks. This, look at that. That is, and I mean, it is heavy oh oh and I wanted to show you so on the very very bottom he put this kind of a I don't know what you want to call it, a little ledge thing so you can kind of put it right right there on the edge of course you can't see it now there you go so you can kind of put it on the edge if you would like 
and you'll have to excuse all this stuff on my island but you know what we've got to keep this real folks okay so I'm going to turn it this way so all the confetti is that way Let's see if I could turn it turn it this way all righty are we I think we're all in view here. Okay, let's let's give this a go. Ooh. All right. Now it's been it's really hard. This hope is really hard because I made it almost a week ago. So oh man, that is yeah next time I should wait a whole week but it's been a it's been a busy week okay Oops. so far so good King oh oh awesome awesome let me put that there oh my gosh and there we go got a little bit of lines I'm trying to Maybe I can smooth those out. But yeah, I think that turned out pretty good. All right, one down. Okay. Let's give it a push. Oh, man. Of course, I put that right in the way. Didn't that turn out cute? Cute, cute. Yep, so, so the soap should be, like I mentioned, scoot, scoot. Yep, that's three, three inches wide. And just about a little bit over three inches tall. Yeah, I like that. Very, very much. Wonderful. A little purple soap there. Okay. That was slicker than a whistle. Yeah, see, this is the nice thing about saving your confetti, confetti or other pieces of soap is that you know you can always use them again and I'm quite very quite pleased with the log splitter and I will leave a link to that and to Bud's workshop in the description box okay everybody thank you so much for joining me bye bye